What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin. Yes, we are. We did some things that I'm not okay with yesterday, but it can be okay. It can be rectified. We are dealing with a very low-cap coin, after all. Jesus Coin is a low-cap coin. As much as we want to talk about it as this great thing, and it is. I think it's a great thing, but uh, low-cap coins are a little bit more flexible with the rules, if that makes sense. What I don't like is that we rejected the overbought zone. That I really don't like, honestly. If we get below the 50, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, deterred from thinking that this is the low. I would think that we probably do go lower. The first thing that has me a little bit deterred too, besides that, is that from a high to a low point, oh no, oh no, that's, there we are. Am I looking at this wrong? I thought I looked at this earlier. And we were below the 382. That actually looks really nice, man. That looks really good. I wish I bought there. I might throw some money in it now. Um, top to bottom. That must have been what I was looking at. Okay. Closing below that 382 is not necessarily encouraging. But based on the relative, I kind of do like that. Um, bearish engulfing candle, not encouraging as well. Let's look at the four hour. <sighs> yeah, four hour looks sad. It looks weak. Probably wants to go lower as well. But that's okay. From a low to a high point, relatively speaking, it's normal to go a little bit below your 382. Maybe you do come all the way down to 6013, 6014, something like that. But again, guys, if this daily gets below the 50, I'm not going to be too excited. So let's let's say above the 50, man. I, I shouldn't say that. We've gotten below the 50 a few times. How about below 47.9? If we get the daily below 46.9, then I'll be sad. Um, yeah. It's not a friendly looking candle. And the volume to boot is not too friendly as well. But who knows, man? That could be that could be okay. What's the uh, what are the holders doing? We lost wallets. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't even know. I don't know how Dex Screener does it, man. People just destroyed their wallets. They sent them to the burn address, man. Um, yes, wow. Look at that, dude. I forget what it was yesterday, but I want to say it was 6.2. That means about a trillion coins have entered into the Uniswap wallet since yesterday. It's a lot of coins, man. That's probably where all that volume came from. They sold it at a good point, relative high. Not a bad, not a bad place, man. Um, let's see how the week closes. Let's see how this goes because at the current point in time, um, I'm definitely glad that I didn't buy up here, right? What sucks, what really sucks is that it looks like, in my opinion, again, if we take, if we like look at this volume for what it is, right, most of the volume happened after this candle. Most of this volume happened after it, which means that a lot of people who got involved, they got involved up here. And we are now below those prices. So you are now underwater and likely prices will go lower. All you people who bought up here, unless you're strong hands, like me and a few other people who have bought and they've never sold at all, they're just adding more. But I'm assuming if you didn't buy down here and you bought up here, you're an emotional person. I'm wondering what's going to happen if the price goes here. What's going to happen? Are you going to add fuel to the fire? Are you going to sell? I'm wondering, man. Not trying to doubt anybody, but but it's not a good look so far with the volume and everything. Um, just just being real here. And uh, anyways, oh man. And I know, I know. Some of you be like, "What do you mean they bought? This is selling volume." No, it's not. Every every buy is a sell. Every sell is a buy, right? Somebody sold up here. Somebody bought up here. That's how it works. Okay, so more volume after this. That means most volume came in up here. That means. And we had 100 new wallets come in. There was likely people buying up here who are not whales, right? I didn't. I saw the top whale wallets. They did not add uh, more to their. They didn't add a significant amount to their holdings. It's probably a lot of the, the lower, smaller wallets that added. Um, you know, and that's okay. If you bought up here, that's okay. Relatively speaking, it is going to go up higher. I'm not trying to dog on anybody or make fun of you. What I'm really trying to do is deter you, the people who bought up here, the people who bought here. What I'm trying to do is deter you from selling your coins here or here or if it goes lower from selling down here because you never know when this stuff could happen when we just go through the roof, okay? If you were emotional and you bought up here, 
You better not be emotional and sell down here or lower, okay? Just add more or be patient. Look away for a month or two or three. You'll be fine, I promise. I can't promise you. It's not financial advice, but you know what I'm saying. I don't know, man. As of right now, I'm not too worried. That can change quickly. Let's leave it at that. I don't like that you close below these low uh, closes down here. I don't like that. But I do like that you're still above your 50 or above your 46.9. 40, was it 46 or was it 40, uh, what was it? 46.9. I like that you're above your 382. Let's see how let's see how it goes. I don't like the four hour. The four hour is the worst thing in my opinion. Yes, you could go up. Maybe by tomorrow you're even up a little bit, but then you could go down. You've got lower highs. You know what I mean? You could be in this channel downwards. So let's just see how the week closes. Let's see how it goes. Blah, 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 blah. That's all I got for you. Take care. Things are fine. Even if they're not fine, even if we go all the way down, it's a better opportunity to buy. It is certainly not a better opportunity to sell. So don't do that. Okay. If you bought up here, don't you dare sell down here. I will find you. I will get CELOS to find you and we will prevent you from selling your coins through peaceful means. And we'll have beer and coffee and whatever you want to do. I don't drink coffee, but I just, it's a common thing people drink. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe if you uh, want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.